Okay, okay, Leo. I pulled Law and Order. Oops, Law and Order for your first card. Then I pulled Loyal. So there could be somebody that may be very structured. Um, I'm just getting this demanding type energy, Leo. Um, around you. Whoever this is, this could be somebody that you are very loyal to. Maybe you all live together, Leo. But I am getting this energy where y'all could be dealing with somebody who likes um, order and structure in the house. You see what I'm saying? Maybe they nag a lot. Some of y'all, I'm getting that energy where they nag about everything. Um, like, for an example, maybe about a piece of crumb being on the counter or something like that. You know what I'm saying? But that was just an example. But I am getting that energy, Leo, where somebody could be very demanding at times, Leo. And um, we got the creator reverse. And whoever this is that is like this, I feel like this person is not going to change. They're, they're not going to change. Um, this person... They could be looking at themselves as the creator. Maybe they feel like they are God, you know, or the goddess of all gods. I don't know, <laughs> but low key, they're not. They're like a lot. They're like a low vibrational um, form of a god. You see what I'm saying? But I am seeing that whoever you're dealing with, Leo, they're not going to change. They're not. And um, like I said, you are very loyal to this person. I feel like you guys really do love this person. And you may have been rocking with this person for a very long time. Some of y'all, this is somebody that may have been, maybe they was in the military or maybe they are in the military. Maybe they could be a, um, a retired, um, maybe it could be like a, a veteran or something like that. Y'all take what applies. Or they could have worked for the government system, um, maybe the courthouse or something like that. Just different messages, but y'all take what side y'all on and y'all take what applies. But whoever this is, like I said, they're not going to change. You do love this person, but hmm, some of you guys could be feeling like um, y'all resources with this person is very limited because they are so like structured. Like maybe they only allow, for an example, once again, maybe they only allow you to use like a certain amount of dish detergent or laundry soap or something like that. I don't know. Or they only allow you to go to the grocery store with like $50. Like, I don't know why, but I'm getting this energy where this person is very, very controlling at times. Like, literally. And I feel like they always have been like this, Leo. And you always stuck by this person's side no matter what. But some of y'all could be feeling like y'all ready to go. I'm going to be real with y'all. Some of y'all feel like y'all ready to go because you feel like you can barely, like, um survive off of what it is that you have like i said your resources you know is very limited you know dealing with this person and some of y'all probably don't even go don't even have no friends because the three of pinnacles reverse i look at that also as like the community so maybe you really don't have no friends or you don't or you don't have no friends at all maybe you don't even know anybody outside of your community some of y'all probably don't even go outside because of this person is so controlling but I don't know why, but that's the energy that I definitely did just pick up for you and your love interest so far, Leo. But like I said, somebody could be thinking about um, a relate, could be thinking about walking away due to um, them feeling like, you know what I'm saying? They can't go anywhere, do the things that they want to do, make friends. And you know what I'm saying? It's like, like I said, their resources are very limited. Like they can barely like probably not even survive off the little that they do have because this person is so ordered and structured about, you know, everything. You see what I'm saying? But like I said, this person do think that they could be like a god or something or a, I don't know, but it's, it's a low vibrational form. Wow, we got the three of swords at the bottom. So some of y'all could be very, very heartbroken. This person really makes you feel very... um like hurt a lot of the times, you know, and I feel like some of you guys may do nothing but grieve. Maybe you just always in the house crying all the time. And I don't know why, excuse me. I don't know why, but I just felt like this person, their demeanor, their energy, the way they handle things, it just, it is really heartbreaking to you. I really do feel like this person does hurt your feelings a lot. Leo, and um, 
Yeah, yeah. I, I just feel like some of y'all may maybe been feeling stuck with this person for quite some time. What else do we have? We got justice. Um, some of y'all could be married to this person, but it's like you married a demon. Like when you look in the mirror and you look like when you look at this relationship, put it like that. When you look at this relationship, some of y'all realize that y'all married a demon. Maybe you did at the beginning. You thought this person was your other half, but no, they hid that demon part of them. Um, they hit it the whole time until you actually moved in together and started getting very, you know, comfortable with each other. I really do feel like you realize that. You you just want to be treated right. That's it. I really do feel like y'all, y'all just want to be treated fair. Y'all just want to treat be treated equally. But, you know, I really do feel like some of y'all may not even be yourself anymore. Maybe when you do look in the mirror at times. Leo, maybe you don't even recognize who you are. I'm getting this energy where the person that you was when you met them, you may no longer be that person anymore. Some of y'all could be feeling like y'all turning into that person because you could be, you know, so heartbroken or you have just been so heartbroken dealing with this person. It's like I'm just getting this unrecognizable energy more than anything. You see what I'm saying? Some of y'all really just don't recognize yourself, even though you are in a relationship with this person. Maybe you feel like you, I really do feel like you realize that you married a demon, like literally, or you got in a relationship with a demon if you not married, but y'all are literally looking to, um, basically to start a new beginning, like literally, you may not know where you're going to go. But I really do feel like y'all really do want a new beginning. Y'all want a fresh start. Y'all want movement. Y'all want change in y'all life. And, you know, so you can go out and explore the world or just, you know, I, I really do feel like some of y'all are due for a vacation, like literally, you know, and get to know new people and go to new places and stuff like that. Because like I said, this is somebody that's very controlling that probably does nothing, but Leave you cooped up in the house anyways. You know, if you do come outside, like I said, you're, it's very limited that you do go somewhere. But I am getting that energy for some of my Leos. What else do we have? Clear, intuitive messages, spirit. We need the real deal. Clear, intuitive messages. We need the real deal. What else, spirit? I really do feel like y'all really don't recognize who y'all is anymore. Like y'all, some of y'all feel like y'all have changed. You know, even though you do have a heart or whatever, and you have been rocking with this person for so long because you are so loyal. Like I said, y'all just don't feel, y'all don't feel like yourself. I really do feel like my Leos don't feel like themselves. All y'all looking for is equality, you know, reciprocity. You know, you want somebody that's going to treat you right, you know, treat you fair. I feel like some of you guys, all this person do is nag. We got the Knight of Swords. All they do is nag. All they do is, some of you guys' person could be verbally abusive at times. Maybe they say things without thinking. I am getting that energy with the Knight of Swords with some of my Leos. And um, you just ready to let go. I really do feel that way. I feel like you, you ready to let go. You starting to see this person for who they really is. I feel like you have always seen the difference in this person, Leo, but maybe you just felt stuck at one point in time. But like I said, like you are becoming really aware of how verbally abusive that your person really, really is. And you're ready to let go. But we got the Queen of Pentacles. Like you literally been loyal to this person for way too long. The spirit is saying it's time to let go. You know, yeah, you have been riding with this person for so long, but you need somebody that that's going to, you know, not only take care of you, but 
that's going to be very solid, somebody grounded. Y'all need somebody who's more grounded, basically. That's what spirit is saying, you know, because this person right here is all over the place, right? Some of y'all could be a water sign or it could be a fire sign. It's always nagging or air sign. I'm seeing Libra right here but or Gemini, but I am getting that energy where y'all need some, let this person go because y'all need somebody who is, you know, more loyal to you as well as you are to them. And you just need somebody that is very grounded. Like, I really do feel like y'all need that because y'all could be so sensitive to this person's energy. Some of y'all could be cross-watching. Maybe you are the water sign or maybe you are the Libra or are the Gemini or are the air sign that's being treated by a Leo. But y'all take what applies. But I am getting that energy where you're just not happy where you at. You have been with, you have been loyal with for, to this person for way too long, and you're tired of depending on this person. You you really are, you know. And um, I feel like you at a point where you just want to get you want your own basically. You want your own. You want your own money. You're tired of of you know living off of them, or just you're just tired of having to depend on this person Leo like literally you want to be able to gain your control your you want your life back like you want to have the life that you have always wanted Leo but for the most part it is saying that y'all have been very loyal to a fault to this person and it's time to wrap it up it's time to you know ground yourself and you know and let go of this person and because basically you just depending on this person for way too long and you're still not getting your needs met. You see what I'm saying? I really do feel like y'all depending on somebody and you're still not happy. You're still not getting your your needs met. You know, it's like you always have to depend on this person. Wow, Ace of Cups reverse. So it's either saying that somebody may have fell out of love with their person. Some of you guys, it could be you. Because literally I see no water in this chart. And it's, yeah, I have, I see no water right here. In these cards, I meant to say, but the hangman, which is like I said, this this Pisces or Cancer energy, but it's not saying anything what you emotionally involved in this person, but it says that you are loyal to this person, you still stick by this person's side, but it's because you've been heartbroken, and that's probably why you have fell out of love with this person is because this person is very verbally abusive, and not only verbally abusive, they're very controlling, like. It's like, dang, like, it's like you're living your life for somebody else the way they want. You know what I'm saying? They way, the way they want you to live your life. What else do we have here? Clear, intuitive messages, please. But it is saying right here that you just want to become, you want to, you want to depend on yourself. You're tired of being, you're tired of being codependent to this person, having to depend on this person all the time. And you're, you're just not happy. You just... You're just not. Hmm. Some of you guys could be thinking about, maybe you're trying to come up with a plan. Somebody could be 33. I'm also seeing 66. Maybe you guys could have like a 30 year, um, about a 30 year um, age gap between y'all. You know, some of you guys, it could be, you know. But I am getting that energy where maybe you are concerned about something. I'm going to have to clarify. Wow. Some of y'all kind of sus suspect that your person is dating somebody else. Some of y'all, that's exactly what I'm seeing. You kind of like, the reason why you feel like your person ha is be acting so verbally abusive to you is because they, yeah, I feel like you may always kind of suspected that your person had somebody else basically with um concern and then we got courtship right here i really do feel that way i feel like y'all kind of got this feeling that your person has someone else yeah and it's like you're getting ready to walk away they're treating you like you're not even in a relationship with them. That's the crazy part about it. But y'all are in a relationship with this person. Then I say some of y'all, this person could be like a retired, um, maybe they could be like in the um, military. They used to be, like I said, a veteran, a retired um, veteran or something like that. Some of you guys, that could have been the case. But um, somebody could be 44, 33. 
Yeah, y'all y'all already peep game basically. You know that this person is dating somebody else and you know, courting somebody else behind your back. And that's where the that's why you could be feeling like, you know, the reason why you're being abused and controlled is because your person really is out here dating other people. We got the devil card reverse. Yeah, you guys are getting ready to break free from this devil because they're toxic. They're toxic. You've been hanging on to this person for way too long. And on top of that, you just, you don't even, you don't desire this person like you used to. You're ready to heal and you're ready to move on away from this person. You guys are just tired. You're breaking free from this devil. Like literally, because you just, you just want balance. You want equality. You want reciprocity. You want fairness in a relationship. Some of y'all could be a Capricorn. The rest of y'all could be um Sagittarius if, if you're not Capricorn or Sagittarius watching like I said you could be a water sign or a Libra or a Gemini and you could be cross watching for like um for Leo but like I said you just you will recover from this heartbreak you will because like I say some of you guys may not like you may not be yourself even after you walk away from this person because you will still be holding some form of resentment towards this person that has you know hurt you you basically have grown mad and fell out of love with this person because this person has been so verbally abusive and they've been cheating on you behind your back basically but i feel like that's exactly what it is you suspect this person is cheating on you and um so you're leaving you're leaving because you want to heal that's exactly what i'm seeing but i'm gonna go ahead and end it right here leo i hope it resonates and y'all take care